Hello, my dudes. Today we're starting a new series where we're drawing D&D classes based on what personality you have in real life. And I'm using my very good friends as examples. And this is what I'll be drawing in today's video. We've got a bard and a wizard. So stick around to watch the whole image unfold. Okay, my dudes, let's get into our first doodle here. And as some of you may know, that my first doodle is usually my uh, warm-up, but that's okay. So let's let's talk about a personality and um, what kind of D&D character that would make you. And I'm going to be using my friends as um, examples. So let's see. We have my friend Devin, who I've used as an example, or who I've, I've drawn a little doodle of before. He's, uh, he's, I would say, extroverted. He's uh, definitely um, kind of like the life of the party, doesn't mind attention. He's, he's kind of uh, bolsterous. He's, you know, kind of like that. So I think that would be a barbarian. And let's just get into that. But actually, I think he's more of a bard. What do you think? You let me know down in the comments. He, he's kind of charismatic, he likes to perform, he likes being in the eye of the viewers, he, he, he doesn't mind it, he's not shy. So yeah, actually, I think he's more of a bard. So let's try and draw my friend Devin as a bard, and he's, this is his personality. Extrovert, not shy, and that lands him barred. Okay, so we're gonna try and draw Devin here. He doesn't really have this hair anymore, but this is always how I imagine Devin, so he's just gonna have to get over it. And then everyone in this Doodle's gonna have a headband because all my heroes have headbands. There we go. Something like that. Maybe we'll just do a full mouth. There. Okay. There we are. And so, the bard. They like to perform. They like being center stage. They don't mind when all, all eyes are on them. They just kind of go with the flow. And so, we're going to do the same thing here. Just going to make him a little showy. Just like that. We're, we're just going a little quick. And then we'll just kind of come down with the neck here. figure out what he's going to be wearing. So why don't we give him a open shirt. There we go, just like this. Maybe hints of it throughout his hair. Maybe a little bit peeking out over here. And it's tied in a knot here. Something like that. And all of my heroes have have headbands. So the bard, as I was saying, is gonna have a nice flowy shirt. And maybe 
you know, it's open like this. You can see his chest because he maybe he wants the attention of some ladies or some men or whatever. But the barn, this particular barn. He wants the ladies. We're gonna make it really flowy, really bubbly shirt. And then he's got his small waist here. Like that, a big belt. And he's got his sleeves rolled up. like this. Shirt comes down over here. I'm going super fast. Or maybe he's got a big strap going right across his chest. Because he needs to keep his instrument in place. We'll just color that in just to separate it from the rest of the body. Just like that. And so we did sideways lines, and now we're going to go long ways lines just to really enforce there. It kind of gives me like one of the dudes from El Dorado, the Disney movie. Wait, was that a Disney movie? The animated movie. I, th I thought it was Disney. Go. And so this is the extroverted There we go, and I'm, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to draw his hand. They're not the best. Something like that. Just kind of resting by his side there. Maybe, yeah, kind of like tighter pants. You know, like I said, he, he doesn't mind the attention. He likes the, uh, kind of more like tights almost, because he is a bard. Kind of like a Shakespearean stage like this. And uh, yeah, bards love the attention. And maybe, maybe you're like that too. Maybe if you were in a fantasy world, you would be a bard. What do you think of that? You know, bards tend to get in trouble, perhaps with husbands. <laughs> um, they like to not steal, but maybe they, they're quick to corral you out of your money, maybe for their benefit, something like that. Alright, big moment here. We're going to figure out what instrument he plays. And why not just a lute? I'm just going to go pretty angled here. Make it really thin on top. We're gonna make give it 3D looking. Like there. Add a little of these notches. I think there's only three of them. Three strings on a loot, I can't remember. And we'll do a big bass down here. Just like that. And there's Devin the Bard. Just like this. So yeah, bards are extroverts. They're not shy. They like attention on them. Um, and that's our first personality. There we go. Okay. And then when, let's get into the next doodle. I'm 
thinking this is going to be for people that are very passionate about things and they really like um, their hobbies and they really enjoy their uh, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of their passions <laughs> they're very much into their hobbies and uh, you know they're, they're ever curious about it and they want to get better uh, and learn more about it uh, and I would say that would make you a wizard you know ever thirsty for knowledge always wanting to learn more always wanting to get better very much very much into um, expanding their brains and in a certain subject or hobby or something and though that would that would certainly make me think of my two friends Daniel and Joe I didn't draw, draw Joe in my last video and so these these are gonna be the wizards wizard very passionate almost to the borderline crazy with their with their hobbies devoted to their crafts and constantly wanting to master it so we're just gonna get started here we're gonna we're gonna start with Daniel so I think what I'm gonna do here the scale is not correct because they're standing next to my friend Devin and Devin isn't as tall as he would be in compared to this illustration but we're just gonna go like this and we're just gonna draw Daniel here just like that but I'm gonna put a hood on him just like that we're just gonna completely shade this in because I want this to be let's see something like that maybe just a he's always got these cute little baby cheeks I've always thought doesn't look too much like Daniel but that's okay we're not gonna worry about it it's kind of tough when he doesn't have any features it's just going by there we go and he's got a bit of a squarish face just like that So wizards, you know, I, I would I would say they're kind of mysterious. Definitely private, in a way. They're not, you know, sharing their entire life with everybody all the time. Um, which is fitting, I think, for my friend Daniel. And we've got, you know, we're gonna come down here with a, like a hood. I always imagine a hooded, robed um, wizard when I think of wizards. <laughs> Just gonna hide his neck in there in the dark. There we go. And uh, you know this adds kind of like an air of mystery to it, but not always the case, you know. Some wizards aren't aren't always like this. There we go. We're gonna have to hide his other glasses. You know we can't really see the glasses through the cloth. Okay. And we'll just come down here and get into his shoulder here and maybe his sleeves are rolled up as well kind of like our friend Devin over there and his arms are out and he's uh, maybe holding a book holding a book that he's really passionate about very much probably the uh, 
D&D player's manual or something. Both of these guys would be holding that once we get to Joe. There we go. Just like this. And like that. Then, she. Okay, I'm sorry. I had some loud neighbors going by the door and I didn't wanna want you guys to hear that. So here we go. We've got Daniel here holding his treasured book like a true wizard. And he's very passionate about D&D. Both of these guys are. To the same, to the, I would say, almost an uh, insane, unimaginable, unimaginable level of um, passion. There we go. So we've got Daniel here. Daniel. And it's kind of it's kind of different for Joe over here. We're gonna we're gonna draw Joe. Um, we'll, we'll finish Daniel just a little bit here. We're gonna draw draw his. Maybe he's. Let's see. Let's see. Something like that. No, but more like this. There's his thumb. Maybe he's got some dice in his hand. You know. Something like that. There we go. Something like that. that. That's not a very good hand, but we're not gonna beat ourselves up over it. We're just doing some art, some quick art today. And then we're gonna draw Joe right behind the hand here. It's. I, I always love these two because they always seem to be kind of com competing with the who's who's got the best campaigns and who's got the best imagination. And, um, but Joe, I think Joe's a little crazier. I think he. Let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna draw this. I think he's a little more malicious. He likes to see his players suffer. And. Uh, He's almost like borderline warlock. <laughs> but no, no, we'll keep him a wizard. And we're just going to. There we go. He's he's kind of got the bushy eyebrows. There we go. Just like this. And maybe we'll give him kind of like a evil little smile. And he's very good at playing evil voices. There we go. We're going to add some facial hair here. And then I'm going to cover, let's see, the rest of his face in a hood as well. little bushy facial hair. And so yeah, war wizards, you know, again, they're very passionate, very much always hungering for um, knowledge, always wanting to learn more, 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 and pushing themselves to this crazy limit of uh, just always improving their craft. People that are hardcore into their their hobbies and their their work and maybe anything else, you know? Anything that you can put your mind to and they go 4,000% into it, I think they would make a good wizard. So we've got Joe here. He, he looks a little more evil um, because, you know, honestly, I think he is. <laughs> I think he's a little more evil. Uh, uh, he he really enjoys torturing his uh his his fellow players. We're gonna give him a rope too. There we go. Just like that. And so we've got 
Joe. He's kind of more like a darker wizard. And we got Joe and Daniel here. Both wizards. Crazy hobbies. Devoted. Hardcore into their search for knowledge of what interests them. And uh, very unlikely to give up. Okay, and there we go. We've got the three of them. And I think this will be enough for the for the first episode. Just three of my friends, three personal well, two personalities because we just did wizard and bard. But uh, yeah, we'll make this into a series. So we've got Devin the bard, extrovert, not shy. He enjoys uh, being on stage. He enjoys the music. He enjoys putting on a show for people isn't shy at all. Then we've got Wizard, which is like borderline crazy passionate people with their crafts and uh, constantly wanting to learn more about how to improve. And those are my two very good friends, Daniel and Joe, who are both excellent DMs and uh, they, they definitely fit into that category. Um, and yeah, Daniel he, he's, you know, he's methodical, very much likes to think things through, and they both do, honestly, but, but Joe's got a little more of a darker side. He's, he certainly can play darker voices, and uh, he he's enjoys <laughs> torturing his players, really does. So there we go. First episode of Personalities and What D&D Class You Are. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. This is going to be a, a new series, a new playlist for people to enjoy. And we got a lot of classes to get through. We're just going to stick with the traditional classes of D&D. Nothing too, too crazy. No, no homebrew classes or anything. And I got a bunch of friends to uh, add them up with. So stick around and enjoy the show. And there's going to be a few more episodes. So thanks again for sticking around. Bye-bye, my dude.